Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a quick look at the NPU of the Rockchip RK3576. According to the specs, it also has six tops, the same as the NPU of the Rockchip 3588. So I have a Rockchip RK3576 device. It's sponsored by Mikotronics and it's the Mikotronics R57. Um, so the reason why I didn't do a video on this very quickly was that I'm not really happy with the performance, um, even on Armbian. So yeah, before I do uh, the usual tests, the performance test that I do, I want to wait for some new images. So here I have the Armbian image for the Mikrotronics R57. But as you can see uh, with Armbian and probably also with the Debian image, um, there is no dedicated um, GPU driver. So here you can see it's using software rendering. So yeah, that means that you don't get any good graphics performance, unfortunately. But who knows? Um, I think the Armbian team is um, working on getting the Panthor open source GPU driver working. So who knows in the future that uh, will improve. And as you can see, I also uh, tried to do the updates, but unfortunately that doesn't bring any performance improvements with the GPU. And here you can see that we have four A53 cores and four A72 cores. And that's one of the things that you can recognize that you have the Rockchip RK3576. Um, yeah, so just a quick test to show you that the graphics performance without a good GPU driver is very poor. We have the WebGL Aquarium and even when it's fully loaded, then it doesn't even get five frames per second with 500 fishes. So that's really poor performance. So, but hopefully that will improve in the future. Now, coming back to the MPU, I'm not the first one to show you that you can actually use the MPU on the Rockchip RK3576. So here you have the YouTube video of Anton Maltsev. I will also put a link in the description of the video. So you can also have a look at his video about the MPU. One of the things he says is that on the RK3588, the MPU has three cores um, and all the three cores can do two tops, so six tops in total. But it seems that the RK3576 has two cores, but those two cores can do three tops. So that's also six tops. Now let's do a quick test of usage of the MPU. Let's see. Oh, whoops, yeah. You have to do that. So probably this one is going to error because I didn't 
put the U limit higher. So yeah. So now if we try again, but that was not what I was looking for. So this one. So here you can see that it reports two cores. And first we have to wait until it's fully loaded. And since I have the four gigabyte model, that means that I'm also a bit limited in the choice of the models. Um, yeah, I could try to add a swap file so that I can work with larger models. So starting it, that can take a while, but once it's loaded, then it works at a decent speed. So here we are. So we can just start with hello. So We'll ask it what is the meaning of life and you can see that it's fairly fast for a small chip and if we check the uses of the cores so here you can see that it is using the MPU cores And yeah, if you want to build it yourself, um, I'll also put a link to one of my previous videos where I showed you how you can compile this yourself. Um, yeah, it's a bit unclear to me um, which models work with which version uh, because I've had some problems with it and also see some complaints in the forums about it. Uh, I don't have the hardware at the moment to try to uh, convert models. Uh, and even if you have hardware that is capable of doing it, it seems that it will take several hours, perhaps even more than a day, depending on the performance of your hardware. But um, yeah, who knows, in the future when I have some more powerful hardware, I can try to do that. Yeah, once we have newer images with better performance, I will do the usual tests um, that I do with new devices, uh, hopefully on Android and on Linux. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.